Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the 3M Performance Spray Gun, starting with what comes in the kit and finishing up with cleaning up the gun after an application. First thing that comes in the kit is the spray gun body itself. It comes with a little protection on that needle, that foam cover. Also included are three bags, five packs of each of the three top coat sizes. We've got the 1.2, the 1.3, and the 1.4 tip sizes. Along with that in the kit, you've got the PPS Series 2.0. It starts with the hard cup, as well as five refills of liners. There are four refills of the 200 micron lid, as well as one of the 125 micron. There are sealing plugs for that as well. Also in the kit, you'll find a replacement locking collar. That's just a spare. The air valve and gauge, that's gonna be included, as well as the manual for the gun, and another reference, which is the quick start guide. Next, we'll get that gun set up for use. First, remove that protective covering and grab the tip size you're gonna be using on your application. It helps to pull that trigger back, press that nozzle firmly onto the body, and then rotate that collar all the way to the stop. Once that's connected, you can go ahead and attach the air valve. Do that by hand threading on the swivel, and then use one wrench to tighten it. Since ours, our shop is set up with quick connects, I'm going to thread that on. So you'll have to use whatever connects you to your air source. Now that we've got the gun set up, we'll take you on into the booth and show you how it works. Next, we'll set up the gun to be ready to spray. What I like to do is dial the top and bottom knob, the, the fan and fluid adjustment, all the way in. And then a good initial setting is two full rotations out for the fan knob, and then four full rotations out from fully closed on fluid. Verify by just pulling the trigger and making sure there's no restriction there. Next, we'll set up the cup for spraying. Start by locating your hard cup and insert your liner. We're using the standard size today. From there, we can add it in the coating. So this is a clear coat. We're going to mix at four to one to one, so you can use the convenient mix ratios right on the cup. Then locate your PPS 2.0 lid. What helps is aligning one of the tabs of the locking collar with the window on the cup hard cup. As you press that down, so you hear the click, you can verify that it's sealed with the liner by lifting up and, and making sure that seal is made. Then do your quarter turn rotation to ensure that locking collar is attached firmly to the hard cup. Once you have the cup mixed up and ready to spray, you grab your, your spray gun, performance spray gun, hold it by the nozzle, and then make that connection by ensuring that all four points are connected before inverting. Now let's spray. If you plan to reuse the nozzle, we'll step through the cleaning process. First, you'll want to drain back the coating into the PPS cup, and to do that, pull the trigger and give it a few good taps on the work surface. Once the coating has drained back out of the nozzle, you can go ahead and disconnect the performance spray gun from the PPS cup. Feel free to use a sealing plug to seal and protect that coating. Next, we'll clean out the nozzle. Today we're using the high-powered spray gun cleaner. And to do that, you can squirt this, triggering nice and gently into the spout of the nozzle. And then go ahead and drain that into a waste receptacle. You'll repeat this step as many times as necessary to make sure that that coating is cleaned out thoroughly from that nozzle.
once the nozzle is clean, you can remove it from the spray gun. And then go ahead and grab a rag. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra solvent to clean the needle tip, but give it a good wipe. And then store the spray gun with an atomizing head attached to protect the needle.